first thing I want to talk to you about is the biggest scandal of all time. President Joe Biden has done the unthinkable. He went to Hawaii and had the audacity to pet a dog. That son of a bitch. <laughs> How dare he waste ours and everybody else's time by lowering himself to pet a dog. That piece of human garbage. Seriously, worst president of all time. I mean, who does this guy think he fucking is flying all the way to Hawaii when like cameras are rolling and all that? Having the audacity, just the, the sheer, sheer just audacity to pet a dog. This is, of course, not me saying this. This is Sean Hannity, who thinks it's such a big fucking deal. This is Sean Hannity on Twitter, which I guess is called X now, for some dumb fucking reason. I guess it's... I guess we'll call it X, because that's what it's called, even though it's stupid as fucking hell. Biden gets distracted by the dog. That's some hot ground, man. This is only 23 seconds. I think we can watch the whole thing. What's the boss's name? It's the how you do You guys catch the boots out here? That's a hot ground, man. I think it just speaks for himself. <laughs> that he's the biggest piece of shit of all time because you know who the hell wastes their time when they're at a disaster site they could be like i don't know throwing bottles of water or like paper towels and shit over to the disaster victims instead he sits there and does something that every single other normal human being in the world does and pets a dog i mean who the fuck does he think he is right folks which is funny because, you know, usually in the past when you would see these types of bullshit kind of made-up scandals coming from the right wing. Like, we got a whole bunch of these when it came to Barack Obama, if you remember, you know, you, something like that. He'd uh, have the wrong kind of mustard on his sandwich or some shit. And whenever we saw those, it, it would spread around and... What it what that basically is, it's kind of ammunition, right? Let's go ahead and uh, turn this off for now. But what that is, it's, it's basically just ammunition so that people on the right wing can have something to bitch and moan about. We haven't really seen very many of these with Biden himself, but these sort of dumb shit, idiotic non-scandals where they can just criticize him for not for nothing and it, it's kind of shows like really that there isn't much for them to criticize about you notice how we we never really did that with donald trump like nobody was complaining about the color suit that donald trump was wearing or that he got the wrong kind of mustard on his hamburger or or something like that no no one ever bitched and moaned about trump like dumb superficial things because there were like real problems and real reasons to like criticize Trump for because every single day Donald Trump would do something really stupid or illegal or a combination of both or even if it was just something really like inane like the Kofefe thing remember the Kofefe thing even that had more substance than Biden petting a dog even the Kofefe thing actually was a criticism that was worth criticizing for like what was Kofefe all about it was about uh how Trump was so petty that he just couldn't even admit when he made a mistake. Like, do you remember, like, so if you don't remember the Kefefe, like, what it was is that he misspelled the word coffee, and then when people asked him about it, he said that he didn't misspell it, that he did it on purpose, and then, like, a reporter asked him, like, well, what does it mean? And he said, the people who know what it means knows what it means. Kind of like he, he, like, was so thin-skinned that he couldn't just admit, yeah, okay, I misspelled it. Happens a lot, especially uh, if you have a small phone and you're texting and you have big-ass, like, caveman hands like me and shit, with, like, big sausage caveman fingers. Like, 
you press the wrong fucking button. It's perfectly honest fucking mistake. What they need to do is they need to make Twitter editable. They need to make it like I don't know why the fuck Twitter is not editable. Like you should be able to edit the tweet. At least I don't know. Could you could you do that? And I don't think you're used to be able to do that. I don't know if you can do it now, but as far as I remember, I mean, God, this shows you how much I don't use Twitter. I can't even remember if you're allowed to edit tweets or not because Twitter doesn't fucking work at all. So it's like I haven't actually tweeted anything in like a while. But anyway, that's the whole idea behind it. We never did these dumb sort of made-up pseudo-scandals for Trump, because we didn't have to. But the Republicans kind of have to do that whenever there's a Democrat in office, because they need to have something to piss people off, like, every single day. And Biden is just not crazy. <laughs> like, he's not crazy, he's not an idiot, he's not making daily flubs, or, like, getting into fights with, like, with, like, you know, Twitter fights with celebrities and shit. Like, he doesn't do this stupid kind of dumb, ridiculous, news-grabbing shenanigans that Trump would do. So they have to just make shit up. In order to keep people angry, they have to make shit up. And you know what these sorts of non-scandals do? Is that they distract from policy. Because if you look at Joe Biden's policy, it's not really that far off from what any Republican... 20 years ago would consider their policy. And that's how far the Overton window has shifted in this country to where a Democrat can basically have a right-centrist agenda, which is essentially what Biden has. Nobody notices, right? I mean, that is essentially Joe Biden's agenda. Joe Biden's agenda is essentially right, right center, centrist, essentially. I mean, he's done some good things, don't get me wrong. He's done some good things. He pulled us out of Afghanistan. He's trying to do some stuff with uh, student loan debt relief and trying to do these kinds of things. And, uh, you know, there was some good environmental stuff in Build Back Better, etc., etc., etc. So I'm not saying he's completely useless, because he's not. He's actually not a half-bad president. But that's the thing, is that these policies 20 years ago would also be considered a Republican policies as well. Somebody like Bush the first or Reagan, or something like that, would easily pass these types of policies. And there wouldn't have been any problem with it whatsoever. And we've just kind of got, we've just been pushed so far to the right that these types of pro-corporate agenda that the Biden people have is considered leftist now. That's, that's what's, that's what's amazing, right? And that's what these that's what these scandals do is that they distract from that because if they were to actually admit that if they were to actually examine the policies then some of the Republican uh, electorate might not think they were that bad so they have to keep the hate going so they don't have anything that they can't look at anything of substance in order to keep the hate going so they just have to make up bullshit and that's basically what this is all about so I want to kind of show some reactions to this because. The thing is, I'm seeing a lot of positive, like, pro-Biden reactions, which is funny. Usually, whenever you see one of these dipshit non-scandals get shat out by the uh, conservative media machine, the conservative Republican GOP followers just kind of repeat it like a bunch of fucking idiot brain-dead sheep or whatever. And this time, I'm not actually seeing their reactions to it. It's like, it's like this one is too stupid even for them. It's like, oh, he pet a dog, so fucking what? So, kind of good to see that it's backfiring a little, but I want to show you guys a few of the... a few of the reactions that I'm seeing. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. This is from a guy named Rick Lindsay. Breaking Biden Pets Dog. Impeachment to follow. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Here's another one. This guy is comparing Biden to Trump. Let's open that up. This is from Danny Stark. Trump four indictments, 91 charges. Biden Pets Dog. Who's to say which is worse? <laughs> That's what really gets me, folks. You know, if you actually do compare these two... I mean, Donald Trump, 91, and 91 charges. Like, holy fucking shit. That's a, a lot. You know what I mean? 
it's kind of like, okay, if he got arrested once and he had like one charge, you could say, all right, maybe he's, maybe, you know, he's innocent, maybe he didn't do it. But 91? Arrested four times, 91 charges, like, eh. Kind of, you know, someone gets charged 91 times with crimes by four. Four, in four different indictments and in, in four different jurisdictions across the country kind of says something about their character. It's like maybe it's not all a witch hunt. Maybe it's not all a conspiracy. Maybe you're just a fucking criminal. <laughs> a criminal scumbag who should be in fucking jail. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe, uh, you know, you got to remember conservatives and republicans don't have integrity and they they literally don't give a shit about the truth you know i I just saw a poll the other day where people were saying like you know i trust donald trump like 71 percent of trump followers will trust donald trump over their own family apparently to this according to this poll so that was some funny shit okay want to show you guys another one this is Chuds of TikTok. How dare Biden pet a cadaver dog? <laughs> if this is your opposition research, you're doing it wrong. Who even runs this account? <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'm forced to agree. Like, who exactly thought that petting a dog would be perceived as negative to the greater American public? I mean, people love dogs, <laughs> right? I have dogs. I have two dogs. I mean... I have two dogs and three cats, you know. People love their animals. They love pets, especially dogs. Dogs are man's best friend. It's like, what's so wrong about petting a dog, for fuck's sake? How can you turn that into something negative? I don't understand that shit. And, and yeah, that's funny. Okay. Here's another one. This is from a guy named Deacon Blues. Dogs let Biden pet them. Trump calls women dogs. That's true. Absolutely true. Moving on. Another one here. This is titled, What's Next? Open this up. Machine Pun Kelly Redux. So now you're mad that Biden pet a dog. What's next? You're going to open a congressional inquiry for talking about the weather? (laughs) What Machine Gun, machine Pun Kelly Redux is, is mentioning is really not that far off from the truth. If you, if you think back to the Obama years, to the Clinton years even, and even a little bit now, they're trying to do the same thing to Biden that they did to Bill Clinton, that they did to Hillary Clinton, that they tried to do to Obama. And that was, what they did was basically smear them with endless congressional inquiries and investigations you know in bill clinton's case there was whitewater there was all of these just just one investigation after another after another after another and they finally like got something of substance with monica Lewinsky. but monica Lewinsky was like the accumulation of like six different investigations that just went nowhere and they did the same thing with hillary with Benghazi, they opened how many how many investigations into Benghazi? Like twenty, just over and over and over. And they would drag her in, and they would ask her questions, and then they'd spend more money. You know, they'd spend millions and millions of dollars, right, investigating the same event over and over for years at a time. I remember there was a, a congressional hearing that was like eight hours long, and there's a very famous picture of Hillary, sort of sitting there looking extremely bored. Because they're, like, answering questions. Like, she's answering questions that she's answered a thousand times. Sitting there, like, and why do they do that? Why did, you know, why do they do that, right? In any of these investigations, they found nothing. They found the same thing. They did the same thing with Obama. Right? They found nothing. Nothing that could stick. Nothing that could, they could impeach any of these presidents for, except for, well... Except for, uh, you know, Bill Clinton. They tried to get him for getting some oral sex, and that didn't work out. But, you know, nothing that they could actually throw them in prison for. But what's the effect? The effect is that it ruins their reputation and puts a, puts a bad taste in the electorate's mouth. So much so that when Hillary ran for president years after this, it was like people didn't trust her. Why didn't they trust her? 
right? What did she do that made people not trust her? Well, I'll tell you what it was. It's because people have vague memories of congressional hearings over and over and over. They get this idea that you know, she's a crook. They've like successfully smeared her. And yeah, maybe she did do some bad stuff, pay to play with the Clinton Foundation, shit like that. But when it comes to fucking Benghazi, Benghazi was bullshit. You know, they try to do the same thing with Obama, with Jade Helm and a bunch of all this other crap. And that's what they're trying to do with Joe Biden right now. And this is why they're having congressional hearings into Hunter Biden's stupid fucking laptop. Right. And that's here's the thing about it is that it's not working. It's not working with Biden because he didn't do anything. He does. There is no dirt on Biden. Right. He's like squeaky clean. Did you know? I didn't I didn't know this. Joe Biden used to commute back and forth like he would get on like the bus or the train or some shit because and go back and forth from his like from Congress to his house cuz he couldn't afford to buy a house in DC. You know, why is it that somebody like Marjorie Taylor Greene has millions of dollars now when she's in Congress? Like, did you know that? Like Marjorie Taylor Greene is loaded. She wasn't rich when she became a congresswoman. Now she's got like a net worth of like $40 million or some shit like that. How did she get so much goddamn money in like two years? What, is she taking bribes or something? I mean, how, how does somebody get like 40 million bucks in like two years? And how come Joe Biden didn't do that? There you go. That's what integrity looks like. All right. When someone so when someone is like commuting 300 miles every week or whatever, because he can't afford to live in Washington, D.C., Versus somebody like somebody's net worth going up by 40 million fucking dollars. Like that's the fucking difference, you know? So it's not like, and Joe Biden has been, in, was in the Senate for like fucking 30 years. So it's not like he didn't have the opportunity to take bribes, right? He didn't, it's not like he didn't have the opportunity to just take the money. You know, I'll, I'll even say like other senators like Nancy Pelosi. Here's another example from the Democratic side. Nancy Pelosi, super fucking loaded. Why? Because she's using her knowledge of upcoming legislation to make insider stock deals. It's like an open secret that Nancy Pelosi does this. And she's not the only one, right? Multiple dozens of Congress people do the same thing. That's how, that's how they get so fucking rich. That's why so many like Nancy Pelosi can have like, you know, $100 million. Like, how did she get so much goddamn money? How come her stock portfolio, like, consistently outperforms like everybody else's because she knows what laws are going to get passed she knows what companies are going to get the money from government government contracts and so she invests in those companies right that should be illegal if you and i do that that's illegal we go to jail congress people are allowed to do that they're like no one's going to do shit to them how come joe biden didn't do it didn't take a piece of that pie you know why so say what you want about Joe Biden. Yeah, he's old. He's too conservative. I personally think he's too conservative. Right, for my taste. I would like somebody a little more progressive in there. Right. But the one thing that Joe Biden does have is integrity. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, back to the tweets here. I went off on a bit of a tangent. Here's another one. Got a few more of these I want to show you guys. Alex Cole, last week we definitely have 17 audio tapes and three whistleblowers that prove Biden took $5 million bribe from Burisma this week. Why Bedden pet dog? <laughs> it's a good point there, though. What happened to the big fucking, like, $5 million bribery thing that they had the whistleblower for and all this other shit? You, you remember that stuff from about two weeks ago? The whistleblower that turned out to be a fugitive... And the whole thing was just, you know, he's supposed to be a whistleblower from uh, from Burisma in the Ukraine or whatever. And the whole thing turned out to just be like one big steaming pile of horse shit. And they quickly forgot all about that, right? It's a joke, folks. Absolute joke. One more RNC research when Joe Biden pets a dog. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was funny. It really reminds me, folks, this, this reminds me of, like I said, reminds me of all of those uh, scandals that we had with Obama way back in the day. So here's one that, uh, just to take us down memory, memory lane here, 
This is Obama's tan suit, the worst scandal in presidential history. The president came out addressing reporters on Thursday, and he was wearing this tan suit. Tan suit. President Obama's decision to wear a light tan suit at yesterday's news conference. He was wearing dun, a tan dun, dun. suit. Light tan suit. I, I think it was shocking to a lot of people. Is this an effort to make him look warmer? No way. I don't think any of us can excuse what the president did yesterday. I mean, and then for him to walk out. I'm not trying to be trivial here, but in a light suit. Uh, like tan suit. Whoever talked him into going into a tan suit, they're so desperate because of these low poll numbers, they're willing to do anything. Anything. The no tan suit made him look unpresidential. Unbelievable. No president has ever done anything worse than a tan suit. This one is a classic here. As you all know, President Obama is a real man of the people, and yesterday he dropped by a popular Virginia restaurant to grab a burger with his pal Joe. Now take a look at him ordering his burger with a very special condiment. 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 Just a, your basic cheddar cheeseburger, medium well. I just want mustard, no ketchup. If you got uh, like a spicy mustard or something like that, or a Dijon mustard, something like that, a Dijon mustard, something like that. A Dijon mustard, something like that. President, Vice President had hamburgers for lunch. President reportedly had Dijon mustard. Do you ask if they had any Dijon mustard? mustard? Who eats a cheeseburger with Dijon mustard? <laughs> what oh, about? No. He doesn't like ketchup. Dijon what kind of man orders a cheeseburger without ketchup? For the record, folks, I also like spicy mustard. What can I say? Spicy mustard is better than regular mustard. And ketchup on a hamburger is... Nasty. Ketchup belongs on French fries, not on a hamburger. But anyway, moving on. But Dijon mustard. All right, I hope you enjoyed that fancy burger, Mr. President. <laughs> no president has ever done anything worse. That was that was Trump eating pizza with a fork, wasn't it? <laughs> One more of these, since we're talking about classic Obama scandals. This, I think, is my favorite classic Obama scandal. Okay, this is the infamous Obama terrorist fist jab. A fist bump, a pound, a terrorist fist jab? Round one, fight! Jab? Osama, I mean, Obama wins. Fatality. Terrorist. <laughs> Terrorist fist jab. <laughs> that, uh, is real. Now, a, a little side note. The woman that said the terrorist fist jab, her name was Ed Hill. She lost her show quickly after that little kerfuffle. That happened in, I think, 2008? 2009? Which kind of goes to show, like, back then, you know, if you said some stupid shit like this, you know, the terrorist fist jab, like, it came from, because he gave, like, Michelle a fist bump after the State of the Union or some shit like that, if I remember right, and, you know, the, the right wing went crazy. But back then, that was too much. It was like, yeah, Ed Hill lost her show after after the terrorist fist jab remark. And it kind of goes to show, like, now it's it's 15 years later, and conservative punditry is so ridiculously far off the rails that somebody can say something like that today, and nobody even would have batted an eye. In fact, if, if Ed Hill were to say that today about Joe Biden, she'd probably, like get more followers, get more viewers, right? That's really what's going on, folks. Like, why why does this shit keep coming up? Why do these idiot non-scandals keep becoming a thing, right? 
it's because this is why it's the Republicans need to feed the daily hate machine. They need to keep it going. They need to distract from actual policies. Because if you talk about policies, you'll quickly find that they don't have shit. They don't have any policies whatsoever. And the policies that, you know, the, the, the ridiculous, like, bullshit that passes for policies that they have are horrible and they suck. And that's why they don't want to talk about them. Vivek Ramaswamy wants to take away people's fucking voting rights, for fuck's sake. Ron DeSantis is just, like, on this ridiculous anti-woke crusade. They're shutting down libraries in fucking Florida and Texas. <laughs> right? School libraries in, in Texas are, like, gone. And they're turning them into detention centers, where the library is now where kids go when they get in trouble. You know, supposedly when they have detention or whatever. It's like, no more books. What kind of message does that shit send? You know, no more books, we're just going to punish the kids now. That kind of thing. You know, what do they have? They, they have nothing. And then Donald Trump doesn't have any policies whatsoever. I mean, wasn't it in 2020, the Republican Party just didn't have a platform? You know, usually when they have their convention, they're supposed to, like, supposed to say what they stand for, and that becomes the party platform. We stand for this, this, and this, and this. They didn't even have it that year. Their platform was just whatever Trump wants. That was their platform. They don't have anything, so they can't talk about anything of substance. So they have to come up with dumb fucking bullshit like this. You know, Obama wore a tan suit. Hunter Biden's stupid fucking laptop. Hunter Biden pet a dog. Oh, fucking no. <laughs> right? Didn't they try to make, like, um, what was her name? Jill Biden? You know, the his wife? Didn't they try to make her into a scandal? Like, she's not a real doctor and all this other shit. They don't have shit. That's the... That's what all of this amounts to, is that they don't have... They have jack shit. They have absolutely nothing. They have no solutions. They don't care about trying to solve any problems or any solutions that we have as, as a country. There's... So many, we have like like 17 different crises that's happening at once at any given time in this country, right? You know, fires here and floods there and a hurricane in fucking Los Angeles. And, you know, the coral reefs off the coast of Florida are like dead. <laughs> I mean, there's just like so much bad shit happening right now. And they don't have any solutions whatsoever. You know, at least the Democrats are trying to fucking do something about it. At least they're trying to pass environmental legislation. At least they're trying to address the student loan crisis, right? At least they're trying to do things like to bring jobs back and shit like that. Keep the economy going. Trying to cut down on fucking, you know, inflation and shit like that. At least they're proposing shit. You know, the Republicans aren't proposing a goddamn thing. They're banking their entire, like, party existence on hate and fear. Just like they always fucking do. So that's what all of this shit is really about. It's just, it's pathetic. And I'm very glad and happy to see that this time it's not resonating. This time it doesn't seem like any of the bullshit pseudo non-scandals that they come up with or none of them are sticking. It's not it's not working. And it's it's not working and they're and they're so fucking desperate that they're try to twist around like a normal ordinary human reaction when somebody like sees a dog and they go and they pet it and they're trying to somehow say that's bad it's fucking pathetic hello folks if you like what i do and you want to support the channel please consider buying something from my sd shop supporting me on patreon liking and subscribing and checking me out across my social media links listed below thank you all so much and see you next time